I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com with a few tips for Mac users. The first tip is about how to launch programs and open files faster. You just need to use Spotlight Search to do it, and the keyboard shortcut is Command Spacebar. This really speeds up your productivity not only because you can launch programs and open files, but you can also look up information like how to spell words or what their definition is. Now if you're on an older version of a Mac, your Spotlight search might look something more like this. Okay, this next tip is one you definitely need to know. It's Command Option Escape, and what it does is let you force quit apps that are stalling or causing you problems. If you used a Windows computer before, you probably know this as Control Alt Delete. Just remember that on Mac, it's Command Option Escape. Now, if you're a Mac user and you need to take a screenshot, the command you'll want is Command Shift 3. This will take a picture of your entire screen. So when you use it, it'll look something like this. It's a little meta here, but it's a picture of my actual screen. There's another way to do it so you can select just the parts of the screen that you want in the screenshot, and that's Command Shift 4. When you use it, you'll get these little crosshairs, and then you can just draw over the part of the screen that you want to take a picture of. Okay, so let's say you've had your Mac for a little while and it's starting to run kind of on the slow side. You need a tune-up utility. The one that I like is called CCleaner. It's free and it has lots of really simple one-touch solutions for cleaning up all the things on the back end of your Mac to help it run just a little bit faster. This next tip is a little bit of a productivity tip, and it's to set apps to launch automatically every time you log into your Mac. It's in System Preferences under Users and Groups. So you just select yourself, enter your password, and then in this little list here, you can select which apps launch automatically. Now it also works for server connections and files. So if you have a couple of things that you always launch at startup, this is a really good tip to know. One thing I'd caution, however, is not to launch too many apps at startup because that can kind of slow down you getting started into your actual work. My last tip for Mac users is to spend a little time learning how to use the multi-touch gestures on the trackpad and magic mouse. These are two-finger, three-finger, and four-finger gestures that let you swipe and scroll and do a couple other things to move around your screen. Apple has a few good diagrams online, but there are also these little animations right in the system preferences under trackpad or mouse that will show you exactly how to do them.